<laughs> I think he's safe. Oh, just a rock arm. Look at that. That thing, might. Like it's okay. They're all in position down there. These guys are just shot. showing off at this point. Yeah. This is a fairly long uh, approach for Steve. Really? It's, it, now I've got to clear this stream yeah. and get in close to the basket. And he parked it. Now, if they go into the stream, OB. They get, they get yeah. OB? If they're completely surrounded by water, uh, Matt, then they're OB. And they have to take a stroke from where it last was in bounds. Someone, that guy needed a machete. I don't know if he cleared it or not. I, I think know. it looked. Didn't look like it when he released it, but I think he did. So he wants to pop nice it over. Nice clean shot. Look at yeah. this. Nice run Perfect. at it. Matt went. Or Mike went for it. He gave himself a, an opportunity. Here's another flick shot. Mike likes that flick. He's very confident Sweet with flick. it. And he's very good with it. So. Nice. Nice yeah. Let's take a look uh, at the flick shot inside the round with the big dog. Hey, this is Big Dog coming at you from inside the round. You just saw Mike throw a flick shot there. And for me, as a right-handed thrower, a flick shot can become important when I have a situation such as the basket over here. As you can see, I have trees off to my right. I can't make a sort of standard right-handed throw. I've got trees up high on the left, so I can't throw a big spike Anheuser into the basket. So instead, I might throw a, a flick shot. Now, I could do that by using the peace symbol or a single finger, however you might want to throw it, and you throw like this. Let me show you how. And there you have it. Now I have an easy putt and I'm out in two. And that's Big Dog coming at you from inside the round. Well, Big Dog took us right in. That was excellent. Man. And he parked that shot too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done that once or twice. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Look at Jake's shot. Right in, straight at the hole. These Just guys make it look so easy. Oh. Now watch Mike. Mike went at the basket on his second shot. Gave himself a chance, and no, he just an he knew he knows he can make that, so that's why he did that. It's an interesting shot with the water hazard. If you mm -hmm. putt too hard and miss, you can you can get wet. Right, and you see, he picked up a couple strokes there on Mike. How did he do that? Must have got a couple more. Oh, Steve was parked under the basket, so. Chaz, okay. Chaz doing his job. There you go, and here's Mike Hoffman. No flick that time. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is a long hole. This basket is up above, if I'm not mistaken, it's past that tree you see out there in the field. Over the stone wall. And it is a monster. This is a to monster shot. They got to get up as far as they can on this hill before they make their next shot. Jake takes no time at all oh, just to step up and burn that thing. Look you can there. hear him just putting everything he's got into that shot. Oh, yeah, that is up there. Here's the Moe's. What do you think? Can the deuce or deuce this one? That's um, quite the challenge. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> tough. That's very tough. That's <laughs> tough up there. You can see where it's landing. He's got a long way the yet hill to go to get over that wall. The hill eats the disc. Yep. And Mike has bid to clear that wall. <coughs> and he does. Mike shouldn't have any trouble clearing it. He's just trying to get it close to that pin. Oh, and he, what we call. Does it go too high? He pulled it. He's over. He pulled it. He went to the right of the basket. Held on to it a little too long. Steve launches this baby in it. Uh, he's just, just short of the wall. He just smacked the wall. Yeah, left it a little too low. Here's Jake with his second throw. He looks like he's out in Wyoming on this shot. <laughs> yeah. Look at this shot, though. Man. And he wants to he's just parked. hug I think that he's tree. parked. So here's Mike on his third throw. Yeah, as Are I pointed out, he, he pulled that last shot, so he was off to the right. So uh, he was quite a ways away. But he's laid up right now, and he's right there. And Mike uh, makes a run. These are very safe shots because, remember, they mm -hmm. can easily fall down that hill. 
Yeah, and the wind's bothering them too. Uh, Matt, you're right. It's it's it looks looks easy, but it's not. They've got to stay stay right as close as they can. And these shots are just perfect. Yeah. Drop in putts for all of them. Yeah, watch. Don't hit their heads on the basket when they reach over. Get that disc. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right. <laughs> All right, Jake, read that. Keep an eye, you make those putts once in a while, you know. Okay, Jake pulls us straight closer. Still Mike's three, still three uh, strokes out. Three-stroke lead for, for Brinster, so yeah, he's still holding on. Here's Jake. Jake, the is, box. Uh, Jake is from Delaware, and <coughs> we've seen him win plenty of tournaments in our time, especially at Tyler. This shot, again, is over the wall. Looks like they're all keeping to see the basket up there. They're all trying to carry that wall, get that out of play, so they can make a run at the basket. Ooh, that's a good shot. Maybe yeah. if it comes it back. Should come back a little bit. Maybe that slice a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. hey, these guys have already played a lot of golf. They're a little fatigued. They're putting everything else they left they got into the shot. So the accuracy really starts to become a problem late in the rounds. That's right. And, and, and it's always here at Brandywine, the win is, is a big factor on every hole. The X factor. Mike lays it right Ooh. Ooh. Just carried away. Roll. He's going to have a bit of a away. tester. Yeah, I'll have another shot coming back. You'd long putts plus Brandywine win mm. equals trouble. And you see Jake uses an Anheuser yeah. shot in at the basket. These guys are, if you notice on their approaches, they're they're doing a good job getting the nose of the disc down. They don't want the wind to get underneath it. Mm -hmm. Stevie's just going for it. Ooh. Oh, that was Ooh. awesome. That was just awesome. Wow. That's not going to hurt his the case. The crowd here. loved that. Now Mike needs us to stay close. Stevie put the pressure on him. No yeah. problem, oh, man. No worries. <laughs> Almost nonchalant. Just when uh, Steve was getting comfortable, right? Oh, oh, Mike, see that wind? Just a little bit of wind on it. Brought, got the nose up, and it just lifted it up to hit the top of the basket. That's a heartbreaker. All right. Still three strokes out. Three holes to play. You think Stevie can hold on? What do you think? Got everything going for him now. He's got that big booming arm. Man, he does. He gets a lot of torque on that. Man. And it's down here. And here's Mike. There it is. And another, another bomb. The bomb. It's out there. And it, this hole is off to the left. And what they're doing, Matt, is. Throwing a flat right, a stable disc flat out, straight out, and then letting the, the natural uh, tendencies of disc to swing it to the left towards the hole. How many feet would you say, Rex, this hole's away? Oh, uh, this, this hole's got to be a good 400 well, feet out at least. But it, again, it's in a position we can't throw straight at it because of the trees in the way. And Mike Hoffman puts a little uh, hyzer on this shot to make it go. Away. Yeah, hole seven. In fact, uh, Matt, this is 625 feet. So this is a yeah, this is a hike out there. And that this is a great shot, up shot. Look at this, Mike <laughs> Parks. These guys are doing a great job. Crash is short, then. You want to keep this to the I left of the basket as it's coming in with these right handers. Want, they don't want to skip too far. See how that this skips to the left. Well, you, you know, Steve and, as Steve and Mike battle for first place here, you got to remember, between Mike Hoffman and Jake, there's a strong battle for third place going on right now. That's right. That's right. It's a good so point. These guys are trying to play safe. They don't want to give each other too much. They're within one stroke of each other. That was excellent placement. There's Jake using an analyzer nose approach. down and yep. perfect. Gives himself a shot at the basket, but at the same time, he knows he's not going to go flying by. I'll make an easy uh, three on this hole. And that's a sign of a disc golfer. Mm -hmm. They can run at it, but not putting themselves in trouble. All right. There's Mike. All right, Mike. And if you can tell by the flag on the basket that you're at Brandywine, as that thing is just wobbling <laughs> yep, around. That's right. Wind's blowing it around. Mike Hoff makes a great putt. Excellent. 
All right, so they all uh, okay, 30 dead hole, and, and now we're at uh, 